gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. We hope you've enjoyed the Paralympic Games. Good night. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please take all your belongings with you, and if you can take rubbish to dispose in the relevant bins in the boulevard, that would be very much appreciated. If you are moving on now from XL, please turn left to exit the venue. For travel services to central London, please go to Prince Regent DLR station. For services to Stratford, please go to Pontoon Dock DLR station. Keep enjoying the city of London. And of course, keep enjoying London 2012, these Paralympic Games. But just to let you know that Antonina Kovinska is the world rank number three, Stefano Grebo world rank number four, so it should be a very close match. Kovinska to serve, and straight away Grebo in there with a forehand smash to take the first point of this great semi-final. Again, Greber, long rally, but Greber coming out on top. She now leads 2 1. Oh, she Greber played a backhand down the line then and tried to go forehand cross court and just missed. Just missed the table, so it's 2 all, level. Kudinska to serve. Great backhand there from Greber. Oh, and she's gone for that forehand again and just missed. So, Antonina Krenska takes a 3-2 lead. Oh, and there you go. That's classic forehand play from Greber. Playing it wide to Krenska's forehand and getting the point. So, it's now 3 all. Players are allowed to towel down after every six points, and so that's what Greber's taking the opportunity to do at this point in time. And as she gets the ball, she's going to serve her backhand. She served it cross court. Gudinska, oh, and she just made a made an error there. So Greber leads 4-3. Three-five. And again. Oh, and again, Greber going for the forehand top spin, cross court, and then trying to play it down the line. She's missed a couple of those, but she still leads the Ukrainian 6-4 in this first game of the semi-final, women's class six. Back on cross court from Greber, and then back and down the line, which wins the point. Fantastic tactical play there from the German, with one serve to come. Oh, and then she went for one down the line, but just missed. So Kodinska picks up that point and now is behind 7-5. Greber taking the opportunity to take a, a break, as the players are allowed to do, every six points. 5-7. Greber going for a backhand and just missing. So the Ukrainian reduces the deficit to 7-6. With one serve to come. Forehand serve. Backhand cross court. Could it, oh, and she's just put it in the net, Greber, and it's now 7-0. A very tight 
very close match, as you would expect from a world ranked number three and number four player. Again, Kadinska punches the air in delight as she wins that point, makes them, makes Greber make the error. She now leads 8-7. Grab a cross court, and that was a let serve. Grab her playing to the middle, and then wide. She's gone down the line again. Kadinska gets the ball back, Nine, and seven. she misses the ball. And Kadinska again punches the air in delight as she now takes a 9 7 lead in this first game of this women's class single standing disability match. And again, just a bit, she's probably got just a bit tight, um, Greber, and she's missed a few points in a row, and Ukraine now match point. And a great side spin, top spin serve to take the first game, 11-7. The Ukrainian, the happiest, punches the air. Now they'll both go back to their coaches for a bit of advice and guidance. The German coach, being really expressive with his hands, telling Greber what he wants her to do in the second game to get back into the match. She's also taking on some water. It's important that the players remain hydrated during the match because it can affect their performance. The Ukrainian coach telling Kurinska what he wants her to do as well. Um, he's got a bottle of water in his hand. Greber's playing in a green shirt. Kalinska is playing in purple with a, a stripy pattern. Very colourful match, very colourful uh, clothing as well. And Kalinska has not come back to the... Uh, she's taking the full minute as she's allowed to do. Um, the coach is still giving her instructions. And as he waves her away, she comes back to the table one game to zero up against Greber from Germany. So this is the start of the second game, Greber to serve. She's gone cross court and then down the line and then back cross court and she's missed that forehand again down the line. The Ukrainian shouts in delight, coming so rapid to take the first point of this second game. Grab her cross court again, into the middle, and that was a great tactical move there. Playing the ball wide into Kadinska's backhand and then to the middle to level the game at one all. And she keeps missing that forehand down the line. She's okay cross court at the moment. But she's probably just going a bit too hard. <laughs> Playing backhand to backhand now, cross court, and Greber gets that backhand cross court and wins the point. So she's now serving at two all. So serves into the middle. Two three. Kadinska just acknowledging the fact that she hit the edge of the bat, apologising to the player for the error but she takes the point she now leads 3-2 Greber serving the ball into the net and now trails 4-2 both players toweling down at six points as they're allowed to do could to serve And there you go, a massive roar from the German there. She plays the forehand down the line, forehand smash down the line to reduce the deficit to 4-3. Oh, great backspin serve. A lot of heavy backspin on that Kadinska serve just then. Forehand backspin serve. And a fist in a face from the Ukrainian to take a 6-3 lead in the second. And the German coach sees it's really crucial that Greber doesn't let this game slip, so he calls a timeout. Each player allowed a timeout within a five-game match. 
and he's taken that early, but he knows how important it is for Greba to get back into this second game. She takes a sip of water. She's listening to her coach intently, who's given her some instructions. Also, the Ukrainian coach is giving Kudenska his, his player some advice as well. Probably encouraging her to say, you're doing the right things. Keep on doing what you're doing. But it's Grebel who has to take back the initiative and try and wrestle back this game so she can take it into a third game with confidence. So the timeout clock ticking down and both players come back to the table. And it's Kodinska to serve. And again, Greba, she, she misses the ball and Kodinska dancing around with delight about missing the serve. Oh, and that's the first time in this match that Greba went down the diagonal and down the line with a winner. She now trails 7-4 in the second game. Forehand topspin just missed there. And the Ukrainian Kodinska is dancing around with delight. She's keeping on her toes, keeping herself bubbly. And again, she punches the air in delight as she wins that point. She now leads 9-4. With one serve to come, she's going to serve a forehand serve with a bit of side spin down the line, and that four, actually ten. wins the point. So she's now 10-4 up with six match points. Greber to serve. Serves down the line. And then she top spins cross court and tries to go down the line again, but misses. Kadinsa pushes the, punches the air in delight. So she's taken that second game, 11, 11 points to four. So both players go back to their respective coaches. Kaninska will be happier having taken the first game 11-7 and the second game 11-4. But the German coach and the uh, Greber won't give up. It's a best of five and anything can happen in a best of five. Lots of times players have come back from 2-0 to win 3-2. And so the Ukrainian coach will be telling his charge to just make sure she concentrates and carries on playing the way she is and try to finish the match as quickly as possible. So now as we await the third game, Kadinska bouncing around, making sure she's, okay. she's on her toes. To serve. And she Level. will serve in this third match, third, third game. She has forehand on the diagonal, and then she plays into the middle. Greba plays a backhand down the line and wins the point. That's a fantastic point from Greba just then. She leads 1-0. Kudinsa plays forehand down the line, and then she smashes off the table. So Greba now takes a two points to nil lead in the third game. Serves down the line and then smashes down the line. Kudinska well. gets the ball back high. And so she now leads 2 1. German to serve. Oh, she's just played a top spin, which has just clipped the one edge. Three. She wins the point, but she does acknowledge the fact that she did get the edge. 
Um, great sportsmanship, and she now leads 3-1. And again, Kadinska just missing the ball. Greber playing backhand down the diagonal. She's playing with pimples, which doesn't give a lot of spin. So if you misread the ball, it'll fly off the table. And again, the forehand of Greber has not been working as well today as it was um, yesterday. Um, but I'm sure she, she feels confident that she can turn this around. She now leads 4-2. And she plays a back. Oh, and she's missed the back, and she tried to play. She played the backhand down the line, and then to the middle, and just missed it. So now, only leads 4-3. And again, the backhand into the into the net. The Ukrainian shouts with delight. Now four four all. Oh, and that's a nice topspin. She moved very quickly then, Grabber. She went from a backhand to a forehand very quickly to win the point. Grabber now leads 5-4 in the third game. Again, she's playing with a backhand. Backhand down the line from Grabber and a forehand to the forehand side of Grabber, which wins the Ukraine in the point. She now leads. She now, it's now 5 all in the third game. Grabba serves cross court and then she goes back down the line into the middle and then she, she tried to play it down the line again but just went just went away into the net. The Ukrainian again punches the air in delight and now leads 6-5. And again, she just keeps missing the forehand grabber. It's really, it must be really unnerving for her but she now... 7-5 behind in this third game. She towels down. But you can see she's encouraging herself, saying, come on, I, I can still do this. Kodinska takes a towel as well. It's 7-5 to the Ukrainian, and she's going to serve. Forehand serve from Kodinska. And again, she points to the heaven with one finger. She now leads 8-5 and she gets closer to taking this third game and in effect the semi-final match to progress to the final. And she plays a forehand, but Greber plays a backhand and she was coming in for the smash, but uh, Kodenska missed the table anyway, so she's now reduced the deficit to 8-6. She's still in this game, the German, she still believes it's her serves. Plays the back on top spin again and goes down the line and then cross court and then the forehand top spin cross court and, oh and then she got tried to play the backhand and she just missed it and she now trails 9-6 the Ukrainian was very good there making sure she got the ball back in difficult areas backhand oh and that's a strong backhand from Greber there played it and she's now 9-7 in the third game. But it is the Ukrainian Kodinska who will serve. Plays with backspin, side spin. And then she played down the middle, stood down the middle. Greber. Oh, and she's just gone for the forehand there. And the Ukrainian shouts with delight as she reaches game point. It's match point now for Antonia Kodinska. 10-7 up. Forehand side spin serve. Oh, and she's done it. And she puts both hands in the air and punches a fist with her left hand. Punches the fist with delight. She goes to shake Greber's hand. Both hands to all her supporters. Um, Greber also acknowledges the support she's had from the crowd. Kodinska now goes to shake both the referee's hands. As she goes back, she's got a wry smile on her hand. 
She takes the bat as well, back to the coach, shakes the German coach's hand, and then gets a hug from her Ukrainian coach. Greba, unfortunately, although she's smiling, she, you can tell she's disappointed, but she loses the match 3-0. What a great occasion for Gdynska to reach the final. Uh, the Ukrainian coach will be happy with that. It was a great game, very competitive. But in the end, Gdynska wins 11-7, 11-4, 11-7. My name's Farrell Anthony. I've been your in-air commentator.